Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial on Unix set commands. So, set command is basically used to replace a string with another string in a file, right? So, we will get started with a file that we have on the desktop which is text.txt and see what are the contents are. So, if you, if you look into it, it will show that it says Windows is an operating system set is one of the Unix commands to replace substrings Unix has a lot of other commands, right? Now, well, let's say I want to replace the uh, first occurrence of Windows uh, with Unix. So, what I'm going to write is I will say set s hyphen windows hyphen unix hyphen close the quotes and then specify the file name. So now if you see unix is an operating system set so is one of unix commands unix has a lot of other commands right so it replaces the windows with unix. Now uh, th the thing is uh, it will not replace the contents of the actual file so if you still do cat text.txt you will still see that windows is an operating system here. So if you want to uh, replace uh, uh, the contents of the file directly there is an in place command that you have to write. Right? So for example you want to replace windows with unix then you have to write set hyphen i and then hit enter and then it will basically uh, replace it in the content of the file itself. So that is one of uh, the sets I command. Now next coming to the G command. Okay, so we saw that when we gave this first command to replace Windows with Unix, uh, it replaced just the first occurrence of uh, the Windows. Uh, actually, actually, let's try the same command with Unix reverted to Windows and Windows with Unix. So you can say Unix and Windows. So it says Windows is an operating system, so it is one of Unix commands, Unix a lot. So the first occurrence of Unix got replaced with Windows, right? But none of the other occurrences got replaced with Windows. So if we want to globally replace the keyword Unix with Windows, what we have to give uh, the said command is uh, hyphen G at the end, right? And hit enter. So it will say Windows is an operating system, so it is one of Windows commands to replace substrings, Windows a lot of it. So all three instances of uh, the Unix was replaced with Windows, right? So that is uh, that is one of uh, the hyphen G. Now let's just say we want to uh, replace the uh, se second and third occurrence of uh, the Windows uh, with Unix, and just so what we are, what we'll specify is we'll, we'll give G two and hit enter. So what it will do is. It will keep the first one but replace the second and third occurrences because it starts at position 2 and till the end of the string it replaces it with windows right so these are couple of commands so um, another thing is uh, hyphen n so hyphen n is a suppressing command what it does is it will not print anything uh, unless uh, you know there is something it it, ha it has to replace with okay so for example I want to replace Windows hyphen window. So it is replacing, but it is not printing the text. So that that can be useful when with a uh, when used with a pipe operator to give an input to some sort of cat command or you know write into a file or and all that, right? So I hope I have a intro good introduction to of this command and you understood the purpose of s set command. To replace the substrings. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, I suggest you do so because there are a lot of videos I'm going to bring in related to Unix. And thanks a lot for watching.